Pulled down by Turner. Turner feeds it out to Grigsby. Grigsby's going to run her down. Going to try to beat the defense back. Goes all the way. He's clobbered. The basket goes in. We've got a foul on number 44, Blackburn. Grigsby stunned on that shot. <laughs> nice move by Grigsby there and a good layup because he was really clobbered on that shot. Grigsby got up looking around, seeing, trying to find which truck hit him there. He's going to take his time before he shoots that free throw. That's a bad foul late in a year like this. You could get a boy hurt and, and knock him out of a district tournament. Grigsby going to shoot the free throw, puts it up, rolls it in. Gives them, and I think the Daredevils will be on their way. Well, I noticed that McDowell was trying to get the ball into Turner. They were looking inside to him, but Shuttle Clark was closing it off. The ball comes in bounds to Grigsby, and he pops a, a 25 footer and makes her. The ball goes up. Turner taps down to Grigsby on the fast break, lays it up. Good. Nice tilt by Turner. I've seen him execute that play this year from time to time. It's a good play. Grigsby's holding the ball. Grigsby calls his play. Grigsby goes down the corner, working one-on-one. -on -one. He gives it to Halbert. Halbert out front to Johnson. Johnson dribbles down the corner. He's going to hold it up and give it back out to Grigsby now. Grigsby's going to dribble around in the corner. He's going to give it in to Stumbo. Stumbo waits for Johnson to break. He gives it to him, and Johnson gives it back to Grigsby. Grigsby's going to try it on the left side now, giving it back to Johnson. 15 seconds, 14, 13. Johnson brings it out to Grigsby on the right side. Grigsby uses the pick by Moore, goes up from 15, got it. Six seconds to go, five seconds to go in the half. Throws the tip to Roger Moore, who gives it across to Grigsby. Grigsby goes down in the corner. Spins from 10, got it. All right, good shot there, good movement. McDowell back. With seven seconds remaining and... Uh, Letcher County comes down and scores. So, overtime it is. Turner will be jumping against Pew. And uh, McDowell controls the rebound. Grigsby working one-on-one. -on -one, Gots it up and in. Good move. A good, good move by off. Grigsby. It across to Provit, the ball stolen away by McDowell. 16, 15 seconds to go. Grigsby with the ball, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Good pass Turner, Turner. Ducked it. Four, three, two, one. The ball game is over. McDowell wins 79, 75. Going up, here we go. McDowell controls the Grigsby. Eight footer, yeah, Pete Grigsby is a sharp shooter for McDowell, picks up point number 15, and it's another tie ball game, 36 all. Reagan and Green, back to Tiger, inside Botts going up, no, he missed it, rebound more for McDowell. McDowell with a chance to go up two. Grigsby. 15, yeah. 17 for the guard from McDowell. It's 38-36 to go up six. Grigsby, 15. Oh, my. Grigsby, 15. Oh, my. Pete Grigsby. Julian Cunningham wants time out as McDowell's come off and Ripped off eight unanswered points. Halbert and Grigsby. 14. Oh, Grigsby. Eight points here in the fourth quarter. Gives him 21 for the night. And Julian Cunningham wants a timeout with a minute 38. High school with the Indians have dropped the 75-61 decision to McDowell. And coach, pretty strong first half. But the second half, he seemed to get away from some things. But good first half turned into by your Montgomery County Indians. Well, I guess it was a fairly decent first half. The what really hurt us was our defense tonight. Nobody could stop Grigsby. 
He's, uh, you told us earlier in, uh, early in the year when we was talking to about you about the schedule, you said Grigsby's the sharpest shooter as you'll find, and he proved that here tonight, when he, especially when he came out in the third quarter and hit four shots in a row. Well, he's not only a good shooter when he, you know, we weren't able to close him down and we'd have to pick him up with somebody else, so he kicked off maybe 12, 14 points to other people that were due just to us not being able to stop him. Did you expect McDowell to be that tough coming into the ball game? Well, you know, they won 15 games. They, they tough. Uh, and it's like that. They were supposed to, they got a chance of beating Virgie up there. Uh, you know, they're tough. They, they're a good ball team. We're inside the Grigsby Field House. It was a little hot out there. They, uh, the door's open. Hey, it's got my name on the building. I'm walking in, right? <clears throat> Retired jerseys. There's mine. Uh, yeah, I was All-State in Kentucky, high school basketball. There's my sister Jerry next to it. Okay. So I'm pretty honored that, uh, well, it's, I'm honored, let's just put it that way. I'm glad to be a part of this and work really hard and played a lot of basketball. But. We're inside the Grigsby Field House, and uh, this is named after my father. This is where I played my high school basketball. There was an older gym, believe it or not, uh, that was really little we learned there, but this was dedicated, I want to say in 76, 77. I think Jerry played her senior year in here. I got to play four, high, four years of high school basketball in here. and. Uh, now the bleachers are a little different. The, the original bleachers would actually go up higher and they had them on all four walls. It would hold more people at that time. But they've renovated. It's, it's kind of an old but kept in great shape. We'd have basketball practice every day in here, Coach Turner. And uh, we did a lot of conditioning. But in the summertime, it's hot in here right now. and. Uh, we would come in here and play at night until midnight. That's what we did. We just played basketball every day in the summertime. And uh, I spent majority of my time here. If I weren't on dates on weekends, yes, I dated on weekends. But during the nights, during the summer, I was here. We didn't have Nintendo. We didn't have internet. We had a few channels on cable TV, but uh, no regrets. Hey, I was about to turn the lights off, and guess what I found? Let's shoot a couple.
great. I'm not shot basketball. I've really, I'm not shot basketball in probably four or five years. And being back to my home gym has inspired me. So not too bad, huh? Gotta make one lot shot and then I have to leave. I go for a long one. Four.